Carrie Winkle Matilda. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do uh, some crafting. Craft with me and let's make some snippets uh, for ephemera and journals using Craftspire wax seals. And um, what they sent me was... Um, some metal wax seal heads and I did order ch I did choose a lot of Christmas because I didn't have a lot of Christmas so these are the Christmas ones and then I also chose a thank you one and then a rectangle it looks like it has some pretty roses on it and then um, a swirly flower circle one. So we're going to be playing with some of these today. And what I thought I would do um, was make some snippets. Um, here's an example. Um, I did a double sided because I thought I would do a um, altered paper clip, but I decided uh, just to make them embellishments that I can use um, on ephemera, um, cards, tags, uh, belly bands. I could put these on pages as little decorative snippets. So we're just going to make some of these. I think they're adorable. And I am using the Fussy Cuts from uh, Rach and Bella Crafts Snowdrops and Blossom Spring Kit. So what I did was um, I, instead of fussy cutting them out, I just cut them into squares or rectangles around the image. And um, yeah, so let's, uh, let's do one of um, the butterflies. And I'm going to around the corners and then I'm going to on this one I'm going to ink and we're just going to use a bit of some of my laces some of my scrap laces we're going to use up some scraps and I have these um these wax pieces that I got, I believe, from Amazon. And I'm going to put four. I'll start with the blue. I did three on the other one, but it really wasn't enough. So I'm going to try four pieces. We'll just give it a minute to heat up and we'll use the circle and I think that we will use let's see let's use a bit of this lace this is just dollar store lace that I um, not lace it was a doily or a table runner that I coffee dyed Try to decide where I want it. Maybe not this one. Let's see. Maybe we'll use a bit of this. Yeah, we'll use a bit of this lace. And it does take a oops, does take a minute to uh, melt the wax. But 
but I think these turn out really cute. Maybe we'll put it up here. I just hate covering up the butterfly. I think it'll be okay. All right, so I think it's, yeah, it's pretty well melted, and we're just going to pour it. Well, it really covered it up. That's okay. We'll know better for next time. <laughs> so maybe for these little snippets, maybe less is better. And I really didn't leave a whole lot of room, but that's okay. So let's go, go ahead and choose some other colors for this one. Um, I think I will go with this pretty green and I'm just gonna mix it in with the little bit of blue that's left. And I'm just gonna use three wax pieces. That turned out really cute. It did cover up the butterfly a lot. So we just know for next time not to use as much wax on the little ones. So let's get a couple here ready. This one's pretty and I think I have some I have some pink lace that will look pretty with this, being that that's pink. And actually, I want to round the corners. These wax seals are a lot of fun. You can do a lot of fun things with them. And I am using a um, Dollar Tree glue gun mat that I got. I think I need to wipe this off before it starts to burn here. I just don't want to get any wax on the underside. Okay, and I think that we'll um, do some pink for this one. And it's going to mix in with the other colors in there, but that's okay. I don't mind that. That one came out really pretty. I really like that. So we'll do one more. 
and then we'll play around and test out the different um, the different metal seals. See how they stamp. And I think we'll do some stamping on some lace and then we can just use those um, to glue onto fussy cuts or pages or ephemera, anything that we want. Um, yeah, so I think we'll do that. And let me just see, I'm just going to look at my lace here. So I want to do some Christmas ones and see what lace I have that might be Christmassy. Here. If I have a little bit of green, we can try. Do I have some green? Okay, so that looks good. It's pretty melted. Oh, the colors are going to be really pretty on this. That's hot. Okay. So now let's Some of this lace and let's try some of the let's try some of the Christmas ones and I think because we have green lace, we'll use some red. We'll put three red wax pieces in. Get those going. So much fun. Look how pretty. I really love that one. Okay. Now I'm going to take this off and let's try this one. This is a, I don't know if you can see, get it to focus. Come on, let's focus. Can't get it to focus. There we go. So this is a um, Christmas tree branch with uh, Christmas ornaments on it. I love this one. <clears throat> so we'll do this one. I think that's good. And then I think we'll do another red one, but it's like a cranberry color instead of the red red. Do three of those, and I think we will try this one that says Merry Christmas. Yep, try that one. This is Merry Christmas. I really like the way these turned out.
This one I'll probably, I'll probably tear this off and just glue it onto something else. Because it didn't turn out so great. But you can do that, you can make them. And then just glue them on. So let's try that. Let's use Fabri-Tac. That might be a better way to control it if you've got a smaller smaller piece. We'll just leave this aside to dry and there's that one. Love it. Come on, focus. There we go. I think I need to put it more in the middle. I like the way that turned out. So that'll be cute to add to some ephemera. And now we will try the Merry Christmas one. And the handles screw on and off really easy. So that's great. So now I think um, I will use some brown because the next one I'm going to use, and I'll show you in a minute, I'm just going to put a copper, three coppery brown wax seals. And of course there'll be a little bit of that cranberry red mixed in, which will be nice. But this one is Gingerbread Man. So it's a Christmas tree with gingerbread then so we'll try that one next <laughs> see how this looks yep this glues on pretty good Okay, I think that's ready. So we'll pull this one off. It says Merry Christmas. Turned out cute. I'll switch and I'm going to save these that I'm making for next Christmas. Okay, and these are going to be the gingerbread men. Okay. And then I'll use this green for Christmas tree with Santa. 
do that one next. And let's see what color. I think I'll use this color. Or no, I think I'll use the pearly white. And it's going to mix in with the cranberry red that's still there. That one came out adorable. Love it. Oh, so I hope everyone's doing well, having a great weekend. So this is going to be the Christmas tree with Santa Claus. The weekend's flying by really fast, as always. Okay, I think that's ready. Now, we'll try this one. And that's Santa Claus flying over trees in the night. So, let's do some of this blue. It's going to mix in with the red. And let's put it on a piece of this white lace. And also I have these Super Color Office Trend Metallic Color Pens in gold and silver. And you can um, use it to bring out the, the design. nice. I think I'll do that with the other one. Do gold this time. I love the detail on the stamps. Very nice quality. Very impressed with Crafts Buyer products. Okay, so I think this is ready. And that one turned out. Go ahead and add Santa flying, or yeah, flying 
in the sky. Okay, and then um, I think I'll do another blue one for the, or actually I'll do white for the snowflake. And the snowflake doesn't have to be for winter, of course. We can use it for, or for Christmas, we can use it for winter as well. The pen just highlights it. Do this one in gold. We need to pick a piece of lace for this. Let's use this one. I like how the white has, um, I'm just gonna use this without the, without the handle. You can do it without the handle as well. That came out cute. And I'll just uh, highlight it with some silver. Actually, before I do that, uh, let's pick the next one. Let's do this uh, rectangle and let's do hot pink. And this time I'm gonna put four in because it's a long one. So I'm gonna try to I'm going to try to pour it so it's elongated so I can see if I can get the whole stamp in. Okay. Out cute. Okay. And <clears throat> let's see what lace to put it on. I think we'll put it on this lace. Great way to use up your little scraps. Don't throw your little scraps of lace out. Oh, this one came out really pretty. Highlight it in silver. Just gives it a little bit of sparkle. Pretty. Okay, here we go. See if we can do elongated. Let's 
see how that turns out. And then the last one is going to be the thank you. And I think I'll put it on this piece. And what color? Let's do purple. Yes. Love to do two dark and one lighter. That would be pretty. And of course, there's blue and pink in there as well. So it should be interesting. <laughs> yeah, I really love all these stamps. They're really wonderful. Just highlight these. I really love the seals on the stamps and the snippet with the image. It's just so pretty. Look how pretty this is. Love it. I'm going to be using this in my my journal. Definitely. Gorgeous. Okay. Maybe once I highlight it, you'll be able to see it better. So now we'll do the oval one. great with the highlighting. So I definitely recommend getting pens, which I'm sure Crafts Buyer carries. probably be better with a different color wax probably the hot pinks a little too hot pink here's the thank you I really like that let me blow this out okay and then um, I'm going to highlight this so you can see it better It's, thank you. So let's line them all up so we can see how they look. I think I'll just put a piece of white paper down. all the stamps out. So 
someone mentioned in my last Let's Make video that it would have been nice to see all the snippets together that we made. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you all now. Put all the seals out. upside down. Let's see if I can get them all in frame here. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, I will have links in the description box below to the Craftspire website and then links to all the stamps that I purchased so you can check them out. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, be well, and all that good stuff. Until the next video, bye-bye, friends.